Everybody expected from us a minute repeater. We're always good in surprising people and therefore we don't come up simply with a minute repeater. We will come up with something which is more complicated. And finally we'll answer the question, are Lange and Söhne is good, but what are they really capable of doing? We finally wanted to make the last step, which we never had made at Lange and Söhne, that was the watches with a striking mechanism, the sonary watches. We could have bought a mechanism for Switzerland, where it's very well known, but that was not the goal. Creating that know-how, I think, is very important for a brand like Lange and Söhne. And what kind of piece you start with was a grand complication. It was a grand sonary inside, with a perpetual calendar, a chronograph, rattrapant, with even a flying second on top. Each of the complications is impressive. But the most impressive, and I think the most difficult thing, is to have all of that running simultaneously. If you have a minute repeater, that's fine. If you have a grand and petite sonnerie, we all know how difficult and complicated it is, that's fine. But the combination of those, that's the extra mile. A chronograph rattrapant is a complicated piece, but if you then put the jumping second to it, that makes it extraordinary. Once you've finished, you have something working which strikes. Then to make the interaction between the other complications, that's a very big challenge. It's a matter of very fine adjustments. The watchmaker is assembling during 12 months, one watch. You put a lot of resources in it, you make one and that's fine. But to really prove that we are capable of replicating a watch like this, you had to build more than one. To give it into six collections, that means you have somebody neutral to evaluate whether it has the Lange and Söhne performance. It'll never be a commercial piece. But what we learn from one watch will help us to develop the next watch. From now on, you can expect very nice watches, which are striking mechanisms. Because with this piece, we build up know-how to make these pieces in more different variations. These are quite unique. Six pieces, no more. But the mechanisms, the technique of making a striking watch, that is what's so important for us. So that's an interesting future, I can guarantee. A watch like this doesn't come out every year, and I believe that's helping fine watchmaking in general. Fine watchmaking is not defined by one watch brand, it's defined by the group of watch brands, and therefore I believe it is important for the industry that from time to time these hero products show up.